All right, hey guys. Um, so I have an update on the Go Show uh, Mini projector. Um, so Go Show just released an update on what's going on, and I just wanted to share with with you guys. So maybe if you haven't seen the update or know what's going on at all, or if you were interested in one of these and wanted to just know information about it. <clears throat> so let me just read what they just sent to the backers. Um, we're glad most of you received your units, blah, 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 blah. Um, this post is to update you to let you know some important information and also the plan moving forward on updating the Go Show. So we first wanted to speak about the interface change. A major focus of the investment, 60 to 70%, was made in maintaining the best quality for the DLP technology and project your picture, picture and brightness. So already they're telling us that because of the interface, so I'm sure other people have been complaining about it than just me, they wanted to focus on one thing rather than get a final product out to us and then just explain this to us before they shipped it out. Be like, here are the problems, we're trying to get it out. Uh, remaining funds were used in the purchase of the CPU. Issues arose when transition, transitioning and moving the original interface into the CPU and the engineering team encountered major software stability issues, which finally resulted in the difficult decision to release with the Linux OS UI that provided device streaming, while also allowing future updates to include the additional of app integration. So, basically because they could not figure it out, they just like, we'll just, we'll just get rid of it. Um, we'll just send it out now, and hopefully no one will notice. It's important to, that we let you know about the currently planned updates. Further information about applying these updates to your GoShow, such as links to download the update and transfer to GoShow via USB provided when the updates are ready. So here are the planned updates. Um, the freezing issue, like the issue that I had originally with it just frozen. It says next week this update will relieve the freezing issues some backers are experiencing during boot up. So... I had the issue, and a few other people had the issue as well, and I know a few people left some comments saying that they had that issue, and that it worked fine first, and then when they tried to do it again, it messed up, so obviously, they know. Um, connectivity, by the end of February, this update will release by the end of next month, and focus on various connectivity issues. So that's probably like trying to connect to your phone, trying to connect to the internet, the Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. Apps. The first half of this year, three to six months, this, wait, what? Three to six months? This update will install YouTube and Netflix apps directly onto your home screen and allow for streaming of these services directly on the projector. The time amount for this update is due to the engineering of these apps for the Linux OS system. Okay, so that should have been figured out months ago. Like, seriously, that should have been figured out, like, a long time ago. Like, if they knew that they were going to be doing a Linux operating system, and that they were going to be doing this, and they were showing it, they should have had that, that built. All that should have been built. Alright, some other issues we've seen committed, commented on these need clarification. The remote lag. This is an issue we will try to address in one of the updates listed above. So basically the remote just is too slow. I wonder if they're going to fix it if you can turn it on or turn it off. Um, the LED indicator light. Please note that the LED indicator light is not included on the final spec manufactured Go Show. Unfortunately, the instruction manual has already been pro produced prior to dropping this feature, which is why it's still listed. You know, I thought it had an LED light, but I did not actually... That didn't cross my mind when I was looking at it. Um... Interesting. Um, tracking information. Go shows are still being shipped, to so, so some backers will not receive tracking information. If you have not received your tracking info, please contact customer service. And for defects. If your Go Show unit is experiencing any physical defects, contact us at Go Show one by one for further assistance. So basically, like the little plate that was falling off mine, I need to contact them again, even though I've already told them about this. And the lady told me that they were supposed to be calling me. Now I have to contact them again and let them know again that there's a physical problem with this thing. 
So, I know that this is not going to be good for a lot of these people trying to figure this out. Um, I guess it's good that they are they know of the issues and they're trying to figure it out. But, uh, I don't know. I'm not... I feel like a lot of this stuff should have been figured out beforehand. Like, this isn't something like... Here's the problem with some of these companies is that they don't want to keep you updated on all the stuff where they're going through it. I feel like there should have been like testing and they're testing and showing you video and being like, here's the updates. This is what's going on and make it so they're completely transparent with us because now they shipped us a unit that doesn't work. It's just a really glorified flashlight in a box and now they're trying to make up for it. I don't understand what the problem is with all these companies like that figure they can just put out a product just to get out a product. I mean, that's all the crap going on with like Bethesda and Activision. All these companies are doing this. Like, what is the problem? What's the problem? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, what they're trying to do. I think for for this to be a smart mini projector, which is said on the box that this was a smart projector and for there to be no apps in there. And it's going to take three to six months to get all that stuff integrated. You might as well just kept the unit. You might as well just kept the unit for an additional three to six months and made the perfect product, made the perfect product. Well, I don't understand how this is acceptable as far as like this should have been done. All this should have been ready. Like, I, I don't know. This should have been ready. I, I don't know why this is having to be done over, like, as far as this. Like, getting bugs and talking to your, your people who, who got your thing and finding bugs and stuff like that, that's going to be part of it. Uh, I think that's part of everything. But this is more than just bugs. This is like a lot of people are having these issues. And then to know that that you had to ship without the integration, the, the the user interface. Apparently, you knew that ahead of time. I mean, it says it right here. It says that you, we had to move from the original interface onto the the CPU because of the issues, because of software stability issues. So you know what that means? You tell your contributors that you're having a problem and you explain it 100% and then you try to make the best product. Like personally, I would have preferred to have waited on my unit and had the perfect product or at least something that was at least 90% better than what it is now. Like seriously, I, I'm, I'm not... I'm not pleased by this. Like, this is not... Like, these other updates that they had, I was trying really hard not to, you know, go on them and be like... Because they were trying to, like, say, hey, we had some problems, here it is. But these are, like, problems that should have been said as part of all that other stuff. Because they knew it. They knew it. What do you guys think? Um, let me know below. Um, if you have one of these, definitely know. let me know your thoughts on this. Um, if you have seen this, this is just posted today, just now. Um, so I mean, and it's a January 15th, so it was just posted today. Um, let me know guys, if you got one of these or you were thinking about getting one of these, I mean, what do you think about this? I mean, is this kind of ridiculous? Let me know. And, um, psh, I don't even know. I don't even know what else to say. Just uh, let me know. Um, subscribe. Um, if you want to see some more updates on this and some other things I got coming out. But, um, psh, man. I can't believe that. So, I just can't believe I have to wait three to six months to get this to where it should have been done. Alright. Alright, guys. So, I'll talk to you later. Alright.